All right, you heard the bombshell from this morning. Let me catch you up on the rest of Kelsey's testimony. They asked her, how are you feeling? She said, I don't want to be here. They asked her, what's triggering you? She said, quote, lies from Megan. She was asked, what lies? That I betrayed her, that I am a bad friend, that I took hush money. She was asked, how do you feel about the allegation that you shot Megan? She said, that's ridiculous. She was asked, how did you meet Tory Lanez, me and Meg both met her him at the same time at a Rock Nation brunch. She continued that after they met, Meg wanted to hook Tory up with Kelsey, that that did happen, that Kelsey and Tory were engaged in an intimate relationship, that Kelsey got COVID, went back to Texas, and during the time she was back at Texas, having left LA, Tori and Meg started getting it on. They talked about the night of the incident. They got to Kylie Jenner's house around 3 to 4 p.m. She was a great witness, by the way. She answered everything extremely knowledgeably, extremely truthfully. I believe every word she said. She never seemed like she was trying to hide something, except when she pled, except when she pled the fifth, of course. Now, she clarified, this was not a party. Those are just people hanging out. There was maybe five or six people before Tori got there. There was a lot of alcohol. She said at one point she did pass out when she woke up. Tori was there. They were all in the pool. They were having fun. She confirmed a lot of the speculation. Tori was hooking up or trying to hook up, flirting with Kylie in the pool. Meg was very agitated, trying to leave with Tori. Tori did not want to leave. She contradicted Meg's testimony. Meg said, oh, I don't remember ever leaving once and then coming back. Kelsey testified they all got in the car. They left without Tori as they were going. Meg is rambling being just weird and then says, oh, I forgot my slipper, let's go back. They all go back to get her slipper. Then they grab Tori, they bring, she, Kelsey didn't go in at that point when they went back, but when they came out, Meg came out with Tori and Meg said to Kelsey, bitch, Kylie told us it's time for us to go. Our Tori drops the bombshell that he had been hooking up with Meg. Kelsey did not know this. The first time she learned this is in that car. That's when the argument ensues. That's when just lots of arguing is going back and forth. The prosecutor really tried to pin it down and make it look like the argument was only between Tori and Meg. And Kelsey was adamant that nah, everybody was arguing with each other. It was a mess. She confirmed that Meg was dissing Tori's career, his skills as an artist. This stuff all crescendoed. The prosecutors asked her about, was there ever a threat made by Tori to shoot? She said, yes. Prosecutor asked her, what's the context? She said, I invoke my Fifth Amendment right. You can only invoke your fifth if the testimony that you are compelled to give will incriminate you, meaning that the context around the threat, if Meg will not tell us, if, if Kelsey tells us, it would incriminate her.